In the Leicestershire town of Ashby de la Zouge lies the ruins of Ashby de la Zouge Castle, made famous after it featured in Sir Walter Scott's novel Ivanhoe in 1819. Soon after, Francis Rowden opened the ruins to visitors and has remained a popular tourist attraction to this day. But those souls who once dwelt within the castle's walls are often seen walking the ruins. Though the ruins we see today date from the 15th century onwards, the site can trace its origins back to 1086, when a manor house stood on the same ground. It is highly plausible to believe that the site has been a dwelling of some sort since ancient times, and this may explain the sightings of Roman soldiers marching across the grounds. One of the ghosts regularly encountered is believed to be that of Robert de Beaumont, the Earl of Leicester, who purchased the land in 1100. His spirit is seen at multiple locations around the castle, exploring as if he were himself a tourist. His spirit has been described as being in early medieval dress and talks to himself in an old French dialect. Whenever anyone gets close, he is said to throw up his arms and shout, Natura, the Norman French for traitor. A ghostly monk has been seen many times walking across the lawn and into the chapel where it disappears, but unexpectedly it is in the chapel where many have reported sighting the spirit of a dog spinning in circle as it chases its own tail. Fearing that the dog is trapped behind the bars, visitors have rushed to inform the volunteers, only to find that the dog has disappeared upon their return. In 1642, the English Civil War broke out between the supporters of Charles I and Parliament. Henry Hastings, the Lord of Ashby de la Zouche, briefly joined the Royalist cause before his death in 1643, but his eldest son, Ferdinando, who inherited the family earldom, remained neutral during the conflict. Ferdinando's younger brother Henry, however, became a key Royalist commander in the Midlands. The castle was strategically well placed, linking the Royalist territories in the north and the west of England, and giving easy access to the River Trent. Henry used the castle as his base of operations across the region, protecting it by establishing smaller outposts near Donington and Shardlow. Buildings in the town of Ashby de la Zouche were pulled down to provide material to re-fortify the castle and town. Tunnels were dug and an Irish fort constructed to help protect the castle. By late 1644, the war turned against the king and the parliamentary force based at nearby Carleton had contained the garrison in the castle. King Charles passed through the castle in May 1645 on his way to besiege Leicester, but the following month his forces were defeated at the Battle of Naseby. The king briefly stayed at the castle once again as he retreated west. By now the royalist course was largely lost. Henry returned to the castle from Leicester in September 1645, where another 600 royalist soldiers soon joined him and its 60-man garrison, carrying out raids and parliamentary convoys and the garrison at Colerton. Plague broke out at the end of the year, forcing the besiegers to retreat to Leicester, while the garrison temporarily abandoned the castle buildings and occupied the neighbouring park. Once the epidemic passed, Parliament began to raid the town, and Henry worked through Ferdinando to agree the surrender of the castle on good terms. This was achieved in February 1646, and allowed for the release of himself, the garrison, and their weapons. The horrors of the Civil War have embedded in the ruins of the castle. Sightings of soldiers are often reported, 
with one being grotesquely wounded and calling out to visitors for help. They appear at random all around the castle, with one visitor claiming that a man covered in boils limped across the inner court towards him, disappearing as it was only a few steps away. Another strange phenomenon that is seemingly unique to Ashby de la Zouche Castle is reports of ghostly fires seen in many of the fireplaces within the ruins. At times, a green shadow has been seen floating in and out of the ghostly fire. Perhaps the most haunted part of the castle is the underground passage where sightings of strange spirits are seen. A couple visiting in 2021 were exploring the passage and stopped to take a photo when they saw a shadow of what they described as a full adult human height outline disappear around the corner. They then heard heavy footsteps heading away from them and believed it to be another visitor exploring the passage. Fully expecting to find another person in the area at the end of the passageway, both were shocked to find it empty. After a quick investigation, they discovered a door but found it to be locked. Reasoning that it must have been a volunteer, they made their way back. When they were about to leave, they asked the site manager where the tunnel came out and was told that it was for servants to get to and from the kitchens with food quickly. The door at the end of the passageway, they were told, was permanently shut and only the manager had a key and she had not been in the tunnel that morning. Many others have reported similar experiences in the same passageway with others claiming to have heard a demonic growl and the sound of hooves chasing them. As with every haunted location, there are sceptics who outrightly dismissed the sightings at Ashby de la Zouche Castle, stating that there is no hard evidence to back up the reported phenomenon. But as with every haunting, the truth comes down to one question. Do you believe?